Hello and welcome back to Furry Face Finance, the show where we help young adults get a vision of what their future financial security can be. I'm JR and today we're talking about a little bit about a, a fire hybrid. If you watched the last episode, you will know that we discussed the fire model of retirement. That is financial independence, retire early. It's a concept that's fairly new. Um, it wasn't well known until just recently. And it's the model where you kind of try to compress all your retirement savings into a, a shorter time frame so you can retire at age 45 or 40 or even 35 rather than waiting until you're 65 years old to retire. I love the FIRE model mostly because it gives us options. Back in the day, if you remember a couple of videos ago, and I'll put, a, I'll put a link in the show notes about that video, we did a talk about the traditional model, and back in the day, there was only one model of retirement. You either followed this traditional model of retirement and retired at 65, or you just didn't retire. And, uh, and now with some new concepts, we have lots of options for retirement. So let's just quickly recap what FIRE is so you can kind of get back up to speed and then we can talk about how we can tweak this FIRE model to, uh, to maybe fit your particular lifestyle or your goals much better. So FIRE is basically, unlike the, the traditional model where you're putting away 10% of your income every month, in a retirement fund that will grow over the course of many years and allow you enough money to retire at 65 years old in the fire model they're giving they're putting away more than just 10 percent they're putting away 25 percent 35 percent upwards to 75 percent of your income just socking it away for retirement so that's basically fire in a nutshell Th that concept in itself working that early in your 20s gives you gives you three options right off or it gives you a couple options right off number one you can completely retire and do what most people envision retirement is going fishing every day all day or just hanging out and watching a ball game every every time you want to you can do those kinds of things or it gives you the option to maybe shift out of a, a, a job where you're making a good amount of money but just not really satisfied and allow you to shift into something that maybe doesn't pay enough but gives you great fulfillment and, and your retirement then can supplement that and allow you to continue working that job that really fulfills you without... Um, Neglect, neglecting your, your bills. So that's kind of the traditional fire model and it's usually compressed inside your your 20s or your 20s and your 30s is when when traditionally fire advocates try to push that fire model. But if we think of fire more as compressing 40 years of investment into 10 or 15 years of investment, you can really take that 10 or 15 years of investment and move it wherever in your life it seems to work best. If you like that traditional fire model, you could stick all those 10 or 15 years right at the beginning of your, of your working career and get it over with and be done with it and be able to move on with other things that you want to accomplish with your life. Or perhaps you, um, you're you living on, on one income and in an effort to homeschool your kids and you know that in doing that, one income is probably not going to get you retirement under the traditional model. Well, you can take this FIRE model and kind of tweak it to your, to your benefit. Once the kids are out of the house, you can then compress your... Uh, investment into that 10 or 15 years after the kids are out of the house and graduated and that's when you can start putting aside for retirement and you can still have a retirement in that model so it's really neat how we have a lot of options with this fire model to 
to um, kind of tweak it and make it fit our own lifestyle. So what you need to do is take some time, just grab a pen and paper or a tablet and jot down some of your goals, what you would like to accomplish in life and start from there. And then take a look at the various options for retirement and how they might fit, how, how each one might fit better with your particular goals. Uh, if you are thinking about pursuing the FIRE model, you're going to have to sit down with your finances and you're really frankly going to have to make some hard decisions. FIRE is about being very, very disciplined. It's about, I, most people would say it's about, it's about doing without things in life. And I really think it's more about learning to appreciate the less expensive things in life and still having an enjoyable life. For example, you, uh, under the FIRE model, you're going to have to sock away a lot of money, regardless of where you compress that, that 10 or 15 years in your life, you're going to have to sock away a lot of money. What that probably means is you're not going to be able to eat out as much because it costs money. You drop the $50 weekly eating out in order to put that $50 into your retirement. But that doesn't mean that all of your enjoyment in life during that 10 or 15 years goes away. There's a lot of things you can do that don't cost anything. You can go down to a lot of, a lot of parks in, in major cities have free music. Just go and enjoy some music. Cost you nothing except, uh, you know, drop the blanket down, have, have a couple of sodas while you're sitting there watching, watching some music. Uh, if you're living in rural America like I am, I love to go on hikes. It doesn't cost me anything but the the buck and a half in gas to drive to a state park and go for a hike in the wilderness. Um, there's a lot. That's just a few examples, but there's a lot of things where where you can you can really um, you can set aside those things that you currently spend money on that give you enjoyment and focus on these other things that can still give you enjoyment right in the here and now, but don't cost you anything, knowing that once you're done with your, uh, your retirement savings, you can then probably go back to enjoying some of those things that you used to enjoy when you were spending more money. So that's kind of the FIRE model. It gives us lots of options, and I hope you're as excited about the options as I am because it means, number one, we can still retire even if our lifestyle doesn't exactly fit the traditional model of retirement. And number two, we can still enjoy life uh, and look and accomplish things that we really, really want to accomplish with our lives. So we're definitely going to drop some links in the show notes um, about the past episodes we've talked about so you can kind of mull over what options will work best for you. We'll also, we would also love to, to hear from you. We are on, uh, we're at Furry Faced Finance on Instagram on Snapchat, we're at Furry Faced, and of course you can you can search out um, search us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Furry Faced Finance. We'd love to to get a direct message from you and and chat directly about your finances. We also would love to hear that you've uh, gone out and found a financial advisor and talk to them about what your goals are in life and what how they would suggest you manage your retirement. So listen, guys, if you want to touch base with us, we'd love to talk with you. We're on Instagram, at Furry Faced Finance. We are on Snapchat, at Furry Faced. And you can connect with us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Furry Faced Finance. We would love to have a chat with you. Discuss what your goals are and what might be the best um, retirement option for you to discuss with a financial advisor. So stick around for next week's episode where we kind of do something unique and a little bit out there as far as retirement goes. You'll want to catch up with us on that episode because I think you'll be surprised. Yeah.